Hey everyone, we've got an exciting show for you today. Today we're cutting some beautiful Ethiopian opal. This stuff is absolutely mesmerizing. Um, we're going to be showing a cool mineral. We've got a lot going on in the show. And if you guys are, are just tuning in to our channel, we'd love to have you come check us out. The channel's growing. Uh, we're putting a lot into the channel. So we hope you watch and uh, come check us out. Hello everyone, it's Robert and Michael from Global Prospecting. We got an exciting show for you today. Today we're going to be checking out this beautiful Ethiopian opal and we're going to be cutting it. Check this out. You can see all the beautiful colors in there. Look at that. It's got a pretty cool pattern in it. So hopefully we can get the honeycomb pattern or we can get the snakeskin pattern. Um, so that's the opal we're cutting. We're going to get started right off the bat. And the uh, we got mineral mine today. Uh, we'll talk about some of the lives we get coming up. And uh, we're excited for the show. So let's get started. Let's go. So this is the opal we're cutting today. And you can see that it has a crack in it. Um, so we're going to go on the 280 wheel and we're going to take it down some. And then we'll adjust to see uh, how deep it goes and see if we're going to slice this opal. And then uh, we'll slice it down that crack if we have to. So we're going to take it down a little bit here. And uh, see how deep this crack goes. I'm just going to go around it. You know, when I look in, look at it in, with a flashlight, it doesn't seem to go that deep. So I don't know if I'm going to half split it. Um, but we'll readjust after I uh, go down a little bit more here. And this opal is a Wilo opal from Ethiopia. It's actually beautiful. It's kind of like a snakeskin pattern. So it should be pretty cool when it's done. Look at the beautiful color in that. I mean, some of these Wilo opals have some amazing color. So we're going to take it down here a little bit. Let's see how deep this goes. But uh, it's not popping off. So we'll go a little bit deeper here and then we'll get the flashlight out. Yeah, look at that. We might have to slice this. I was hoping to get the whole opal and cut one big gemstone, but it looks like, uh, looks like this crack might go too deep. Yeah, let's take a look at it with a flashlight. Yeah, you can see, well, it still doesn't seem that deep. Well, maybe I'll take it down a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it only seems to be a couple millimeters. So we'll take it down a little bit more and then check it out again. So looking at it again, I, I think I'm going to end up slicing this. You can see, yeah, I'm going to end up slicing this. Look at the beautiful color in that opal, though. We'll see if we can get a good slice. So we're going to slice this opal. We're going to try to get the best cut we can. It's at a weird angle, so. Um, but we're using a high-tech lapidary trim saw. Uh, this thing's an excellent saw. We're using a high-tech super slicer blade. Um, this thing's absolutely amazing. You don't lose a lot of material. Uh, the saw that we're using, you have variable speed, so you can adjust your speed depending on what you're cutter, cutting. And uh, it's water cool. It's a great machine, and we're gonna get slicing this, baby. So I put a mark on where we're gonna slice, and we're gonna try to get this slice the best we can. It's kind of a a weird angle the cracks at, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Should be fine. 
with this super slicer blade, these things, uh, you can see you don't lose a lot of material. It's so thin and they, and they cut like butter. Look at that. So that looks pretty good. Looks like the slice was successful. And then we'll make two gemstones. Boy, that's got some a nice pattern in it. Look at that. You can see some like residual. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll get on the wheel. So looking at it with a flashlight, it looks like there's a little shard on the top there, but we'll get that off. But uh, it looks like we'll be able to get, uh, save quite a bit of opal here. You can see just a little bit of a, little bit of a shard on the top there. And uh, I think I'm going to take it down from this side here. So we're on the 220 wheel and uh, we'll shape our opal here and uh, try to get this little shard off the top it should just pop off hopefully we don't lose too much opal and we have to decide which one's the top here I, I think I might go with this as the top actually but we'll see as we get down a little farther so that little layer is still there and I'm going to come down a little bit more. See where we can adjust. Uh, I think actually... Yeah, this is... I think this is going to be our top. This side here. Now let me go down a little bit farther. You can still see that little shard. But, uh, we'll see if it pops up. So later on in the show we have Cutter's Corner and we have Mineral Mine. Uh, we got a beautiful mineral this week and we have uh, some great work done by a subscriber and we'll check out that uh, those opals coming up later on in the show and we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the lives that we got coming up and uh, we're pretty excited about the lives and we're glad everybody's coming to join and if you're new to the channel, make sure you turn on subscribe. Now give us a subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. We go live every other Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we've been doing giveaways, and it's pretty good. It's interactive, and we're going to try to make it as interactive as we can. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to improve every live. We're going to get a little bit better. So come check us out, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every other Thursday. So we got that little shard popped off, and now we can work our opal. And uh, this is going to be our bottom. Oh man, look at the color in that. Wow, this is going to be beautiful. We haven't cut a Wheelow opal in a while. So these are fun to cut. If anybody's uh, looking for opal rough, you can go to global-prospecting.com and there we have a bunch of opal rough for sale. You can get Wilo opal. Uh, we're going to be adding some Brazilian stuff. Uh, we have specimen grade and we also have cutting grade. So go check us out at global-prospecting.com. Wow, look at the fire in that opal. Amazing. So we'll go around here and we'll get our shape down and start working on our cutting setting edge and then we'll put a dome on this. Oop. So we got that one one spot of sand on the top there and we'll have to see if we can get that out. But man this thing's got some fire to it. Let's work the back a little bit. See if we can even this back out a little bit. It's going to be a beautiful gem when it's done. And I'm looking into getting a new centered wheel. Um, I just like the sound of them, and uh, I know they last a lot longer. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get a 
one of those sintered wheels. So I'm not sure what um, what grid I'm going to get yet, but uh, definitely coming up here soon. We're going to have a sintered wheel and uh, do away with this 220. So we're going to cut this one now. I'm not sure what shape we're going to do, but we'll go with what the opal tells us. This one should be come out beautiful too. It's a beautiful opal. So if anybody's looking for a quicker way to get to our channel, you can go to letscutopal.com and that takes you directly to our YouTube channel. And we have a ton of cutting videos on there. Um, we do some different opal projects. And uh, we add content every week. So come check us out at letscutopal.com. Took a swing at a wrecking ball And I prayed for my downfall And I found a way to reconcile cause... We'll get some of the sand off. I don't know how deep it goes. Uh, let me check here. Oh, it's not too bad. We'll be able to get that out pretty good. And we're going to do a few shout-outs to people that leave some great comments. And the first shout-out goes to Opal Holix Anonymous. Thanks for the great comments. And I went to his retreat a couple times. And uh, if anybody's looking to go to his retreat, you can go to opalholixanonymous.com. It's a five-day retreat. I'm just kidding. And the next shout-out goes to Kev Bruce. 191. Thanks for the great comment, Kev. Appreciate it. And the next one goes to Curtis Swain, 9992. Thanks for the great comment, Curtis. And for everyone that left comments, thanks for leaving the comments, guys. Appreciate it. And now we moved over to the 280 wheel and we'll refine our shape here until we start our pre polishing. And we'll get this shaped up perfect oval well as close to perfect as we can I like to roll the bottom edges a little bit it stops it from shipping oh man look at the color in that thing this should be an absolute amazing open when we're done and now we'll start getting our uh, dome on here still gonna work that piece of sand out should be a top gen when we're done. This thing's going to be absolutely stunning. And I love this uh, snakeskin pattern. So I'm going to work this a little bit by hand and then uh, we'll stick her on a top stick and uh, finish her up. It's big enough where I can hold it pretty easily. I actually prefer to work with my hands instead of a top stick, but. Uh, Sometimes they can be a little too small. And here we are at Cutter's Corner, and here's some beautiful Revo Opals done by Christine Kuhn. Opal Dreaming. You can go check her channel out at Opal Dreaming. Uh, she does some beautiful work. Check out these beautiful opals. Amazing. What an amazing job. Keep up the great work, Christine. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you now let's try to work some of the sand off of this and uh, I don't think we have to go down too far but the the pattern on this opal is going to be absolutely amazing uh, it should be a medium dome on this opal and it should look great in a pendant and I probably will set this one Look at that pattern. It's going to be, a, this, this opal is going to look amazing. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the dark how close it starts to end up on the break I tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed So we're going to be working on a video on cutting the Wheelow Opal dry. Um, we're trying to put together a, a dust extraction or a silica, 
capture the silica the filter collection system um, and we're I'm, I've been working on that so that should be a pretty good video when it comes out um, you know silica is not good to breathe in so we're gonna try to uh, try to put that system together to capture all that silica and get that video up to you guys so that's another video we've been working on and uh, improving our lives is one thing we have coming out in the future and we have a bunch of merchandise that uh, you can purchase shirts t-shirts hats and you can see that on our YouTube videos uh, I think they pop up at the bottom if you go to one of our videos you can see all our shirts and shirts in uh, different different opal gear coffee mugs and stuff like that we get some pretty cool hats so you can go check those out and uh you know we got a lot of things in the work for the channel we've been getting gaining a lot of subscribers and we appreciate it so we've been working on a lot of things to improve the channel with equipment and um you know trying to get the best opals we can and that's probably the most difficult part of the channel is trying to get you know some of some great opals but uh you know we're always buying and we're always looking so improving the channel is one of our main goals so let's get back to it here and we're even out our setting edge it's got a nice little dome on it we're gonna get this baby on a dock stick here soon this opal is going to be absolutely amazing. If anybody's got any opals that they've cut or any lapidary work that they'd like to share, uh, you can send us an email to globalprospecting1 at gmail.com and we'll share it on the channel. Um, if you just you know tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do, if there's any social medias that people can go visit you at, and uh, videos or photographs, and we'll make you'll be uh, featured in our Cutter's Corner section of the video. And who knows, I may send you an opal if you uh, reuse your content on the channel. And we get a lot of questions on what machine we're using and we use the Cab King. Highly recommended machine. Some of the best opal cutters use the Cab King. Uh, it's a great machine, powerful and uh, it's just easy to use and it's a great deal. Well, look at the color in that, beautiful. And we'll get the rest of that off on the, the next wheel once we get that on the top stick. So on to the next opal and we're still on the 280 wheel and we're going to work this by hand and then get her on the top stick and get our setting edge nice and even and finish the dome on here and get the rest of the sand off the top and then we'll get this one on the top stick and you can see that the opal is cleared up because the Wevo opal is hydrophane. So it absorbs water and then once it dries out it'll go back to normal and you'll have all your color back and they, they're at, it'll just they're gonna be stunning when they're done. So the Wilo opal was discovered in the 1990s. Uh, miner discovered a new type of opal in the men's Jish area of northern Ethiopia. These opals were initially referred to as chocolate opals because of their dark body color. However, it was soon discovered uh, that they could also display bright flashes of color similar to the opals found in Australia. Despite their relatively newness in the world of opals, Ethiopian opals have quickly become a favorite among gemstone collectors and jewelry designers. 
They are highly valued for their beauty and are considered to be among the most unique and desirable opals in the world. So we're going to smooth this opal out and get some of these facets from the 220 wheel off. And then we'll get them on a top stick and uh, we'll move on to the next wheel. We get a little bit of the bottom here. I always like to uh, just roll that little edge on the bottom just a tiny bit because it creates these tiny chips but uh, it'll hold it good just by rolling the tiny bit. It's starting to get there. We still got a little on there but we'll get that off uh, when we get around the top step. Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield and some go down on the seal In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game I look at the color in that opal. She's starting to shape up. You can see that beautiful snake skin pattern in there. And once it dries up, we'll see how she looks. And there's the bottom of it. And then we're going to finish it up on a dop stick. But she's starting to look nice. And here's the other one. And the color will pop on this once it dries. Look at that beautiful. Well, let's get these on a top stick and uh, finish them up. So we're still on the 280 wheel and we're going to get our dome rolled a little bit better. And then we'll move on to the next wheel. So if you're looking to get into the lapidary business, cutting opal, you know, you get a lot of artistic expression. As an opal cutter, you would have the opportunity to express your artistic and creative skills. Each opal is unique and it takes a skilled cutter to bring out the best in each stone. Overall, opal cutting can be a great job for those with a passion for gemstones, artistic expression, and technical expertise. Within the high demand for opals and the potential for flexibility, in independence, it can be a rewarding and fulfilling career path. And now we're on the 600 wheel. And we'll get this baby smoothed out. This is our pre-polishing until we get to our cerium oxide with a leather polishing pad. But you can see, look at the color in that and the pattern is absolutely amazing. This opal is going to be stunning when it's done. Look at that. What a beautiful opal. And here we are at Mineral Mine. Look at that beautiful. This is a fluorite. It's a purple pattern fluorite. Some, some call it um, dice fluorite. But you can see the outer edge is purple of the fluorite. What a beautiful specimen. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is damage free. And we sell specimens like this on our site at global-prospecting.com. And there'll be a link in the description to get to our site. And you can see it glow under a short wave UV light. Look at that. In person, this thing is just like it, it hurts your eyes. It's so bright. 
Look at the fluorescence in that. Amazing. It is an absolutely beautiful specimen. And now we're on the 1200 wheel. Get this baby polished up. Can't wait to see this open finished. I mean, if it looks like this well, when it's wet, then this thing is going to be absolutely amazing when it's dry. And now we're on the 3000 wheel. Always keep your opal moving. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like you. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I want to burn all the bridges between us. And we're going to finish, finish them up on the 14,000 and then move on to the cerium oxide. Man, look at the color in that thing. I can't wait to see this opal when it's done. So these are the completed opals, still wet, and we're going to show these on our live stream next week, them completed, and you'll be able to watch the live after it airs, if you can't make the live, and you'll be able to see the completed opals and what they look like. And here are the completed opals from the live we did last Thursday. I just wanted to show you guys them finished up. 
And I think on the future lives coming out, we're going to actually complete an opal. You know, put it on the dop stick and then move through the wheels. This one came out beautiful. The the uh, Brazilian one came out absolutely amazing. This one's got some good color in it. A beautiful Australian opal. Here's another Australian opal. And these are from Lightning Ridge. It's got a beautiful pinfire pattern in it. Here's a small one. Yeah, kind of a mossy, mossy pattern. Still beautiful. And this is the Brazilian opal. It actually has like a cat's eye effect to it. If you see this opal in person, this thing's absolutely stunning. Look at the colors in that. And it's full of color. I don't know if you can see on the video, but uh, in person, this thing is just saturated with color. And here's one. It's a little, uh, little tiny pear. It's got some color. Some beautiful opals. Well, that was from last Thursday. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next Thursday.